Oops, whoops, whoops. All right, so look, I haven't bought anything in a while. I just figured I like cameras. I like Polaroid cameras. I'm kind of like a camera connoisseur nerd, if you want to say. I don't know, and I haven't really bought anything in a while, so I figured hell with it. This only, so I figured hell with it. Why not just buy it real quick, just to get something new to test out and have fun with? It's a Polaroid action camera. I didn't even know they had this. I knew they had something similar like this, but I didn't know they had like a little smaller version of it. If I can, I don't know if I'm thinking of the same thing, but every time I go to Walmart, I'd be seeing um, stuff like this. I just didn't know if this was the same exact one or if it was just put in a different place. I'm not 100% sure, but I figured, hell with it. Like, why not give it a shot? No, the one I'm thinking of is an underwater camera. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, but I said, hell with it. I'm going to get it. It's only 30 bucks. The underwater one was like 50 not like it really mattered the price point. It's just I figured I would just try something out. I don't really have an action camera, and this seems pretty small, and I can just carry around and BS with it, especially for, like, stupid stuff. Carrying around a Sony a7 III is kind of like a pain in the ass, and carrying a phone around just seems like a little weird to me. I don't know. I don't really, like, vlog anymore, as you guys see, but it's the Polaroid ID757 digital action camera waterproof which is not 100% true but yeah HD recording we're gonna test that out rubber silicone case that's whatever and we got a bike attachment so if I want to get off my ass and actually ride a bike then we're gonna go for it but we'll see right there we got a couple different modes we got the mode button so we're gonna see what that's all about we got the menu power LCD 2.2 inches we got two inches LCD screen, a wrist strap connector, and a microphone, which is going to be pretty decent because I hope the audio is good on this. HD recording, I'm kind of skeptical about that, but with Polaroid, we'll see. They have pretty decent cameras, so I don't know yet. We're going to give it a shot. Um, and of course, an 18 megapixel camera in general. Now, I don't know if this takes pictures too, but I know it takes video. It says digital camera. It doesn't mean anything, um, but... We're going to see if it takes photos, too, and if it does, yeah. I'm also going to put some, like, test shots of it, too, up so y'all can see these. So, yeah, from the jump, I actually like the box. Don't mind my knife. I don't have a, a cutter knife. Uh, I got a box knife, but it's the type of box knife you think. Cut right there. Out of focus. That's a clean little package. That is clean, and I like that. That's actually really clean. I like a minimalistic, simple box like this. And I like the, the box is pretty sturdy, actually, too. And it opens magnetic. Oh, that's dope. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. It's going to hurt anybody. Hurt anything. But, yeah, that's actually pretty decent. I wasn't expecting, like, an Apple case. It's pretty cool. Um, Like I said, I'm not expecting a lot from this. It was only $30. But the only reason the HD thing... HD recording gives me a a lot of skepticism, skepticalism, whatever the word is, because I know how frame rates and bit rates and all that work, so I don't know what's HD to them, might not be HD to me, but for $30, can you really complain? Not really. And if you complain, then you're just, I don't know, it's something different, I don't know. Yeah, the box is really decent. I like that. It reminds me of like a Google box or an Apple box. But yeah, it's whatever. Slide right out. It's pretty cheap, but it's uh, instruction manuals. Stop and uh, watch the tutorial video if you don't need to use the camera, which I highly recommend because I don't know how to. So I might have to actually sit there and watch it. it takes an SD card. You can charge it up. Typical 101 on how to use a little camera. Boom. All right, so here's the camera. <clears throat> well, here's what comes in the box. As it said in the things, comes with a little camera strap. That's gonna be somewhat pointless, but useless, but usable. It, like I said, it came with a little helmet rig, so you can hook this up to a helmet or something. I might just hook it up to a car or something, or one of my 90 tripods that I have. We'll see, we'll see what I can do with this, because I can do something with it, we'll see. I'm on the road a lot, so little I don't know what this is, but... Uh, well, this is a magnet. I'm not uh, idiotic. I just don't know what that's for. And then, of course, just more attachments. It's cool. It's whatever. It just has what it has. And then the and then the camera comes out right from the strap. You just, just pull it out. And there's the camera. 
Got the little tripod adapter on the bottom. See if that focuses. There you go. A little too bright for my for my riches. Um, says waterproof up to three feet. Like I said, if it says waterproof, it's not actually waterproof. I promise you that it's not. Nothing can be fully waterproof, especially if it's technology. It's gonna have a little crack, a little crook, a little nanny, because it gotta have holes for microphones and chargers and stuff. So it's gonna do that. A little red silicone case. I wonder if it comes in other colors, because my Walmart only had red. But I'm gonna look it up, cause why not? Maybe I get a purple one. We're gonna power it on and see what we got here. See if we got a charge. If not, I will be back. It does not have a charge. Well, that kind of sucks. Um, how the fuck do I charge this then? <laughs> um, maybe I should look at the manual. <laughs> no, but the silicone case just comes right off, so it's most likely right there somewhere. The silicone case comes right off. Now that comes right there. There you go. Got the micro SD and a regular USB, not a USB C. Which I was surprised because the I think the Polaroid takes USB USB C. Uh, correct me on that. I might be I may be wrong, but yeah. All right, I'll be back because I'm gonna charge this. But yeah, this is actually pretty decent. I like it just by like the feel and the touch and the look. Like I like like a clean thing, and it just says Polaroid in the bottom. The lens says whatever. That's here nor there. Um, I'm gonna give, of course, there's gonna be test footage and stuff, so yeah, this is actually pretty decent for right now. But yeah, give me a few minutes. Well, <laughs> give me five seconds and I'll be right back. All right, three, two, we're back. All right, so look, um, that's the power of editing. And unfortunately, I was actually, hold on, let me focus. Um, um, so yeah, that's the power of editing. And actually, this is actually the following day, so it's not the same day. Uh, I had work, kids, extra acrylic extracurricular activities you know typical stuff as adults because i'm an adult <laughs> yeah tell me about it <laughs> but yeah so yeah i've been using this for about a day all day today and i used it a little bit last night just to grab some photos and stuff and videos as you are seeing on the screen now um but yeah it's actually pretty neat uh, that's how you turn it on just the power button boom go straight to the video it's, it's just set as default on video let um, me turn it shut but yeah there you go so look, there actually is no definitive way to do any settings with this thing other than that I found is video settings and system settings. And video settings is nothing special as all it has is um, metering and white balance. So metering is just, well, let me go back into it, I messed up. Um, it's just center, spot, and multi which I don't really see being that much difference in each of them for this little bit of a camera. And white balance, I have seen nothing difference with that. I've tried out a few different ones, but I don't see any difference, mainly because I haven't really, really put this to the test, which I will. I might come back and do another video on this. I'm not 100% sure. Um, we have video settings. Um, it's really weird because you got to press like this for next, this for back, and then this for okay. I wish it was kind of like... Uh, okay, next, back, something like that. A little bit more, like, simpler, but that's just me. Um, white balance, like, it's, it's just daylight, cloudy, fluorescent, and tungsten. So it's just, yeah. I typically keep it on. I don't know why it's on daylight, actually. I think I did that last night by accident. But just click OK and it takes you right back to the thing. Back and then system settings. Of course, it's just typical stuff. Change the date. Oh, shit, see? It's, like, irritating. Just typical stuff. Date, time, language, reset, show UI, update system, whatever. I think you can update. You might be able to. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't really done anything with this yet. Um, but you can take photos, actually, which is pretty cool. Like, eh, they're kind of iffy. It's, what do you expect for a $30 camera? Um, and I see, I think this is actually a pretty decent camera for $30. I just don't think it's really, like, worth it, worth it, unless you want to just do have it for a, a nostalgic uh, feel to, like, add to some photos and videos and, like, some moments you want to capture and keep. Um, but that's really it. It's really easy to travel with and vlog with and stuff like that, as you've seen in the videos that you're seeing now. Um, I don't know if it captured audio, so if it did, you'll you'll hear it. And I would use it as a daily camera, but I know the HD functionality, it's only 720. I don't even think it's 1080, but the bit rate is probably a little under 50, so it's definitely kind of like terrible with the quality. <laughs> That's why it looks like it has an older style like feel and look to it, to videos and photos, because you can't really change anything like shutter speed, aperture, ISO, uh, all that stuff so you really can't do any much with it 
but it works for what it, you get. You paid 30 bucks for it. What do you expect? Uh, do I think it's worth 30 bucks? Eh, I wish it was worth 20 but 30 will do. It, I mean, you really can't expect much. I mean, it's it's made by the same company. It's made by Polaroid, which is... I mean, it's made by Polaroid, which is infamous for... for the, which is infamous... I mean, it's made by Polaroid, which is infamous for the nostalgic looks. Um, so, like, it, you're not getting the same quality as a Sony FX3 or, like, an Ori camera or even just, like, a, a Black Magic or anything. It's it's Polaroid. They're trying to give you that nostalgic feel. Now, they do have another underwater camera. I don't know if it's the same type of quality. So it says HD on it, but, you know, it's not actually HD. Mm. So, yeah, as again, that's power, power on and off, and OK, back, and select, like, up and down and whatever. So, and the battery seems pretty, the battery seems pretty decent on this. I've been using it, like, all day. It's 3 o'clock. I've been using it since, like, 12, and it's still got a, uh, almost a full charge almost. Um, and then mode, you can change mode too. So click mode, it goes to camera, it goes to your videos, um, and then it just goes back to just a video. Yeah, it goes to your camera. You click mode, it goes to your camera, your files, and like all your stuff, and then it goes straight back to video. And then you just press record, and it just starts recording. Now, um, as I said, it does take a micro XD, so it, like I said, it's pretty cool. Um, but for thirty dollars, um, I don't know, man. I just really wish it was twenty, cause like thirty just seems like a bump. Like I get it's Polaroid, but like it's not even that good of a camera quality. If the camera quality was a little bit more, I'd say thirty bucks. But then he has thirty dollars. What do you really expect from a camera? Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, that's about it. If you want it for easy travel, simple vlogging, even just for kids to mess around with, or just for you to get like a nostalgic feel from stuff you're doing, or even you want to go underwater with it a few feet, it, I'd say get it. If you just want to capture something like at the moment, you ain't got a, like your camera or like your phone on you or something, and you want to like capture something, um, I'd say get it. But that's all up to you. I don't know. I'm just a fan of cameras. That's kind of why I got it. So for thirty bucks, I'd say get it if you're a fan of cameras. But like, if you don't want to like spend thirty bucks for a digital camera, then don't. But I'd say it's worth it. But it's not worth it if that makes sense. It has some lag. It looks a little choppy. But that's like I said, it's. It's Polaroid. They're going to give you that kind of feel. Um, it's pretty cool, though. Like, just having it. Like, it's a pretty cool build. Like, it's a pretty decent thing. Like, to have. It's pretty decent to, like, own it. Like, it's pretty, It's just cool. It's, like, it's a cool nostalgic feel and look and style is, uh, stylized. And it, it's stylized pretty decently. Like, coloring's pretty cool. Yeah, it's just white with a rubber case on it. But, yeah. And I actually can't find this on Walmart's website. Because I don't know if they have it listed under something different. I, mean, I found it, but I don't know if that was a correct one. Mm. But there's only... I've seen only two colors. Only blue and red. So... Mm. So yeah, that's about it for the video. Um, like I said, it's 30 bucks. So, I mean, if you want to, just go mess around with it. Yeah, I'd say give it a shot. I mean, you can always return it if you really want to. You don't have to keep it. <clears throat> But if you aren't really into cameras or, like, a nostalgic feel, but I'd say not. But it, uh, I think it's worth it. But it's all up to you and your pockets and stuff. It's pretty durable, too, see? <laughs> so I'm pretty sure it's going to be durable if it's waterproof, but yeah. Um, so that's the Polaroid action camera from Polaroid, of course. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.